Apex Nation, that was framey as framey could get, yo. Welcome back to some more The Outer Worlds. Hope you guys are having a great day. We've been here, stuck on Groundbreaker now for a little while. We just came out of the engineer room with your crush, and we also went up there and picked up a new mission. Oh, well, actually, we got to go get the thing from the lady back there to get a new mission, but we're stuck in here until we can go probably into Halcyon, I think, and talk to the dude up there and uh, get our ship unimpounded, because right now we're impounded. We have a few quests to do outside of the place, but nothing we can do now. But we're going to do Happiness as a Warm Starship, which hopefully will give us something we can do for the Empty Man. Now we got to fix the arrays and the maintenance chef. Uh, okay, so we're going to do that. we got to go get new parts. In order to do that, we have to go this way. So we're going this way. Bam. Transition to back base, which is also a bounty back here we can go get to and test out our new gun that I've been wielding for now for a little while now. Who there? Hey, McGregor, are you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. What do you mean? Look at this ripe piece of meat this just scar. sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. I want to fight him. Feed the flame. <laughs> Nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the I'll crew. Kill him. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Intimidate, persuade, put down that before you incinerate the entire deck. You're only going to get this out of his vice. Where we, I was just exploring the ship. It's some upon this level. It's not the personal. I'll just be going. Attack. Neither is this. I got to get that bounty done, and he's down here somewhere. So Also, he also got a flamethrower, it sounds like, or a grenade launcher, and I don't want him to have that. I want that. Also, I want his goggles, so yeah, die. Happiness is a warm spaceship. I don't know why that's popping up, but okay. You guys got that thing? Good. Whoa! This gun is amazing. It's definitely easily my favorite gun. <gasps> Crap! I think I attacked something called a scrap mechanic thingy. We were destined to prevail. This gun is awesome. Favorite gun. Oh, my favorite gun. Also, I was not paying attention to her HP at all. There ain't no one looking at me. I'm stealing all this stuff. That's fun. That was so much fun. I love this gun. Stuff to sell. Armor parts. Ammo and stuff is always great. Stuff to sell. Ooh, the Montang. Nice. Hunt down and kill Captain McCree. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we did it. Claim your bounty, which I will do later. But I am in the middle, middle, middle. I'm in the middle of Luton. All of my kills from that hectic battle. Hectic, as in I really did not know what was going on. I was just shooting people in the face. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. So cut them off. It's bad, but I mean, is it that bad? I'll keep quiet. Shut up. I was sneaking down here. I didn't. I was wasn't gonna go in here yet because I thought it would be fixed event thing. But apparently not. I want to go everywhere, but I also want to explore. I might as well the base level first before I go up any level. I don't know what this thing is. I think it's a maintenance thing for that. Ooh, it's all sparky in there. Oh, what's that? I'll take that. See, they say this is stealing, but if no one's here, is it really stealing? <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes, it is. Do, 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 do. Oh, nope. 
da, 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 da. We kill this big boy. What's over here? Is that like an open? Yeah. I said we're going to explore. Oh, there's an enemy. We're going to explore this way first before we go anywhere else. There's a lot of enemies. Apparently we're not done killing. Can you imagine being frozen for 10 years? Sailing through space in a room such as this. Uh, yeah, I was frozen for, I don't know if it was 10 years, but I was definitely frozen. So yes, I can imagine it. And I can tell you, I don't remember a thing. <laughs> okay, so does it look like that's up or down? It kind of looks like that's up, but as I went over here, it kind of made it look like it was down. Let's go this way. You're not evil. I hope you're not going to mind me stealing all this stuff. Because I will kill you. If need be. Are they coming at us? Where'd they come from over there? Hey, you did it. Level 10. Uh, there's more enemies over there. I'm not too worried about them. What is this? Petey? Petey's mine. I don't know what it is, but it's mine. Whoo, stealing all your stuff. I don't want to talk to y'all. You're trying to get us off. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Stealing. Bah. Nothing. Whatever I want. Uh, I'm just gonna bribe you. You know, you made a real generous argument. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm gonna talk to you now. Huh, haven't seen any new faces yeah. down here since I arrived. Thought there might be something Not here. Sure, how long ago that was? The grid tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Oh yeah, I killed him. I uh, came to grab some radio part engineer. Could use your help installing them. Yeah. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Good. That works. I was hoping that would get rid of you. Alright. Now, back to what I was doing. Cost me some bits. Nice. Ooh, the dead eye. I think that's actually what I'm using, right? I'm using the dead eye. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh, we have ten points. What can we do? That can get the 40. That can get us more intimidate. Get that to 40. Sneak's looking good. I can get that to 40 to give us... Oh, the medical? Yep. Want to do that. Leadership. Uh, I also want to get handgun stuff going and long guns and stuff like that. So we'll increase that a little bit to 20. Not worried about the melee. I might do persuade next. Because that gets to 50. Then I'm going to have to do it all by myself. 50. That gets to 40 to get just tinkerous cost. Minus 50% tinkering cost? Yes. That's a big yes. 50% tinkering cost. Dang, that's a good thing. Uh, perk a perk. We get one more perk, then we can unlock this. So I was looking at either base health or possibly XP from companion kills, damage we're done alone. I like having people with me. Just base health. Work. Then we can unlock the rest of the tiers for our next level. We can start taking this. And this requires 10 previous perks. So 5 more perks and we get tier 3 stuff. Cool. Parvardi, you leveled up. What can I do you? I extract mods in the field. Melee damage. Armor rating. Range damage. Base health. Threat generation. Threat generation. Improve the chance of looting mods when Parvardi is in your party. I mean, that's kind of... Whoa, where'd my cursor go? There it is. That's kind of good. I mean, I also would like to get your base up. That would be awesome. But, I mean... Do I really need to? I don't think I'm too worried about you guys dying. I'd rather have, like, this stuff that would help me... Help me. You know, personally, like, passive stuff. Because we'll do that. 
put that on you. Victor, what do you got, buddy? 20% dialogue, combat, effect, duration, melee damage, third generation, blah, blah, blah. Range, armor, take this. That helps me out. Passive stuff helps me. It makes me feel better. Uh, inventory is still looking good. I mean, it, oh, wait, we did get something new, didn't we? We got right here, Motag, which is a heavy weapon, uses energy. Interesting. Oh, it's a flamethrower. Finally, a lock-on flamethrower. Yep. But we did get something new. This. It might look nice in one of the cruise room. Cool. Good. A little added decoration stuff. I like that stuff. All right, so we checked out over here. We're still going about. I mean, we could go this way first. I want to check up here. There was an enemy somewhere. Oh, that just leads me around. Gotcha. Let's take a look around here. What do we find? Light bulbs. I'll take that. Not seeing nothing else light up to be grabbed. There. That's not working. Pick up radiator parts. Fantastic. We've got them. Now nice. we can move on to cleaner pastures. Calm yourself, dude. Nice. Give me all this. I can sell it, break it down for weapon parts, all that good stuff. Whatever I decide to do with it. Let's move on. Whoa. Is that a thing? No. We got enemies over here. So they're up here then. Okay. Oh, a sniper. I think you have what it takes. Oh, what is that stuff? Nice one. I wonder if he knew. Oh, okay, he does know. Reload. Okay, I definitely need a better magazine. Is it? Okay, we're good. Definitely need a better magazine on this thing. Hopefully there's some good mods for this. This is my favorite gun. I love it. And I want to know what that blue stuff is so badly, but we'll get to it. Hopefully I get you guys some better weapons also. And armor. And armor. Well, hunting rifle. Here we have a hunting rifle. When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars. The beginning of an epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling. They just eat the dang things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for weeks. Supposed to be worse. Heard from heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down a waste terminal for stealing from Lila. Lila. Lila? Now, MacReed. He's always happy to see me. Calls me his fungus lad. Update. Agreed. Just sent a man on fire. Sent a man for having his laces undone. Poop, poop, poop. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. Ought to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. So this is all Drugas. Yeah, this is like all shrooms. He's just growing a bunch of shrooms. Okay. Take all that stuff. I was like, what the crap just happened? Ooh, plasma cutter. There's that thing. You know, I never shoot these barrels. I think I shot them like once. Okay. We came in here for, I guess, experience. Very few other stuff. Hey. <gasps> what was that? High power grenade something something? Heavy grade face. Never mind. Plus five determination. That would be good on like Parvati. Two armor. Eleven. I'm here. Take this. Hey, Victor. Guess what you get, man? You get that. <laughs> you made a squeaky sound. Now, your armor is giving you what? Plus five tech skills. Long guns. Tech skills plus five. Three armor. 
Man, what do you look like in it? Oh, it looks really cool. I mean, I'm giving you back yours. Wait, is that it? No. This is better for you? I might be able to make better armor for you, but right now that's your best. Victor, what do you got on you, buddy? Armor 11 dialogue skills. Yeah, see. All this light armor stuff. Clothing, technically. This is called light armor. All right, we'll find you guys stuff eventually. Not right now. So we're done in here. Everything is done. We're going to go fix some things and... Oh, Got to hold it. Uh, so we got to go back to engineering, deliver the parts, and then we got to go to the captain there and cash in our, uh, or whatchamacallit, bounty reward. Hey, hey, Pervardi's crush, how's it going? You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I don't know what color impressed is. Hey, I got the radio parts. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shed. Okay. There's a terminal in the back. Activate right. it when I call up into Pip's PA. Okay. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticore infestation. No problem. I'll make my way down. Don't there. worry, Miss Zuma. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at you, Pervardi. So cute. Okay, so far end, we'll take it in here. This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is the consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible. Thank you for shutting up. What the crap is that? Oh. The hurt? Whoa, I am in something right now. Where is it? Is it up there? Uh, okay. Is like my vision's blurred or something? You say that, but I don't see him. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Did I just get set on fire? Calm yourself. I'm just looking for things now. Doesn't look like anything up here. That's kind of a meh fight. Where are you? Right there. So, the security is active. Okay. Uh, I can either sneak or shoot him. Well, I mean, I could try to sneak past them. What the crap is happening to me? I'm probably just going to kill him. Let's put it bluntly. They're probably all just going to die. Yeah, let's kill them. Here we go. Don't mess with us. It's experience. And somehow I didn't call up the reinforcements by shooting my gun multiple times. Okay. Not an enemy. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Kill still. You require an adjacent unit? I have your back, What's that for an adjacent unit? Adjacent. Ah. Things, what the, how'd you get down there? Things are under control. So 
Sorry, uh, Favardi's crush. Kind of destroyed all your robots. But you said I could, so it's your fault. You told me, hey, sneak past those. Those are really expensive. Or if Pavardi would have spoken up, you know, I probably would have tried to sneak past him, but... But then again, there's loot to be had. It's gonna hurt. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I was just gonna ask Pavardi, and she could have done it. But I guess I can do it. Uh, this thing. I must exit the main shaft before the activation cycle protocol. Cyclist says, okay. Do that. Oh, I didn't go that way because I thought it was the correct way, so I went that way because you always go the wrong way first. But apparently it was the right way to go. Okay, we did it. Come on, Pravati. Let's go say hi to you. Oh, I thought I left behind. Let's go say hi to your crush. Thank you for not preaching. Pravati's crush. Quiet. Hey. My boys are returning to game. What Sweet. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Oh. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. Pavardi. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Peru to sell you our premium meds. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, okay. This is going to crap out of me. We'll be on our way. Edna. Who is Edna? They're now agreeable. Who is Was Edna over here in engineering? Hey, how's it doing? <laughs> you want me to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Uh, why would we run out of time? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my week. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Uh, so why are you about to lose comms? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, how? Shut up. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to get auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by June Lay. Um, the chief. Easy. Yeah, we can check it out. I mean, we have our crush here. Check it out. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual yep. when you're done with it, Captain. No, you can have it now. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? From Earth? So Earth still exists. It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Alright, I'm off. Uh, we can't do that yet. Because we are stuck here. But what we can go do is try to get done Victor's uh... Quest. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word for a second. All right. Um, you. How goes the hunt? It's great. I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed Nick Red yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. 
Good news! I killed him and roughed him up before I did. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes' backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice, nice. work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Uh, so any more? With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't much else in the offing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Do I look like your gossipy best friend? <laughs> While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? Fine, fine. Then get to business or get moving. I'll be on my way. Hey, I fixed the thing. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Just get my bearings. Uh, I really like to get back there. Yeah, I'm getting that, but this area is off limits. I told but you. I did great things. You have done a lot for us, Captain. I'll talk to the Commandant about scheduling a thank you tour for you. Maybe check back no. in a few days. Come on. Why wait? All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like I will to try. Keep my job. I'm going to do shady stuff, but I will try. I need your quest active so I don't mess up. Okay. We're good. We're in. You guys have like those key cards? So I'm being very, very careful what I steal around here. These are not people I want to make mad. Huh. I really don't need ammo. Can I close this door? Oh, hi. I did not know you were there. Why did you open that door, Bavardi? You're an artist, Captain. That was a freaking scythe. One of you are holding a scythe. There's a back door. I did not know about that. There it is. Just yank the glide and I'll do the rest. Eject it. Confiscated goods. Locked container. Metal hoops. Hatchet. Okay. Now Give the data. data cartridge. I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking ended up I'm gonna leave before I do something stupid wait do I decide to give it to you okay let's get out of here step lively Ms. Holcomb got it his name is Reginald Cheney and he joined the sublight salvage crew. Reginald only he's not listed on the return manifest must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to oh yes here there's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook Rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? I thought to ask. Uh. Why aren't you telling me, bro? Oh, it's nothing. Crap. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. It was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? This was all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universal secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Okay, sounds good. Two levels in this one episode. Get on my hyper party. Get on my level. What's level? All right, so we get the live up to. Forty, we could, or we can work on like um, medical stuff because medical stuff is actually really good. Fourth drug slot to eighty, though. What can get to forty? Okay, we want guns. Guns are gonna get up there. Guns are way too small. We can put four points into persuasion to get lie up to forty. 
That's good. Now scramble duration is plus seven seconds. And that's okay with me. Yeah, we're good with that. Let's take that level. Okay, uh, how's our inventory? 174. We definitely got to do some work on that. So what do we have left in here? We have the sound of voices, which cards the travel, a distress signal, which we have to do on our ship, which we have to travel for. Find Captain... Dr. Dorset said that Captain Iron is most likely somewhere on Skellia. Go find him to make sure he's okay. Corporal Wheeler at Groundbreaker Customs asks you to update Dr. Dorset in the sick bay for the status of her shipment. Oh, then we gotta go find it. Okay, I remember that now. Worst contract. Uh, Convince Udom Bedford to clear just his debt. Okay, we gotta go see Udom anyway. And then Drink and Wine returns the unreliable and asks, <laughs> And then we gotta go find the thing anyway. And Scavenger in the Sky. Gain access to Stellar Bay. Lily Hogan has lucrative contracts. Okay, yeah, we gotta do that too, but we have to go uh, do the distress signal? Yeah, yeah, Auntie Cleo, yeah. Yeah, this is one that she asked us to do so we can get some money to maybe lower this cost so I don't have to spend 10000 I have it, but I still want to do that before we spend the 10000 just in case. I don't care about completing. Botch, just still none. So, I guess next episode, we gotta go do a passage to nowhere. We go talk to Odon. And we gotta go purchase a nav key, which is offered you a job in investigating distressing on Terra 2, but it's 10,000 bits. We have 10,000 bits. I just don't want to spend them. So we're gonna activate this. Well, technically, we're gonna activate that. No. This one? This one. We're gonna try to clear Jess's debt. That might cost us some money or cost us a quest. Don't know, but we're gonna do that in the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. I need a vending machine. Where are there vending machines? Oh, at this, uh place over here right at the rest and go hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did hit that thumbs up button and show your support if you're new and you haven't subscribe for more content feel free to share this video and comment down below and until next time i'm apex reaper you all stay positive thanks for watching afraid of the dark are you scared